Xerxes, so actually, I was thinking that you see this diamond axe right here? It's not the best weapon. Like, I know it has the same attack damage as an iron sword. It does the same purpose as an iron sword. But, you know, I've always wanted to have an iron sword and put sharpness on it, which I know you can't really put in the normal game mode unless you have a book and an anvil. And it's gonna take forever to find that. So, you know, let's make ourselves an iron sword. Who said that we have to keep using this axe? So, let's check the furnace to see if we have any coal left. Which we actually don't. We have one power bar of iron, but we actually need two. So let's check the coal stack if we have any, and we have zero coal. You know what, guys? I think desperate times call for desperate measures. You know what? Burn the chairs. Who, who, who sits on chairs? We don't need chairs. I mean, chairs are useful, but you know, this sword is more useful, so burn all the chairs. We don't need chairs. Just put them all in the furnace. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Just put them all in the furnace. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Gabe or Swordface and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Now, this time this mod is actually very useful for people who actually like to play the vanilla or any other survival forms of Minecraft because this mod allows you to have more forms of fuel for your furnace and not just a default wood or coal or anything. And it actually has some exceptional fuels in there that actually do make sense and some that don't make sense. So anyway, this mod is for Minecraft 1.8, so if you have that, great. If you don't, then I'm sorry about that. So. Anyway, let's go into the furnace and check why does it always have to rain? Now, when we go to our furnace, we can see that we have no fuel. And I put that there for a purpose because I wanted to show you all the fuels you can get. So, if we have all the recipes. We have actually 162 pages worth of fuel, which you can have at any time. And it's actually really, really exceptional. I have, too I have not enough items installed, so it tells me what fuels I can use. But if you actually don't have it on... I will actually list down all the fuels you can use so you can just check back to this video if you don't actually know what to use. And the guy who made the mod will make a list soon, so here we are. So first we have grass, which does make sense, but doesn't. And now we actually four four required for grass block. Now we have a oak wood, which is quite normal. These are all normal. And we have saplings, that's all normal, we all know that. But it gets tricky when it hits the sponge. So sponge actually is flammable, apparently, to the game. So if you put sponge in the furnace, it will actually light. And here's where it actually does not make a little bit of sense. The actual sponge can be made to fuel an actual wet sponge, which I know doesn't make sense. I mean, if you put gasoline on anything, it will catch on fire, so maybe it means that. You can use a note block if you have a couple note blocks lying around. I mean, who doesn't want that? You can use all the forms of rails, which detect your rails, power rails, and just normal rails. You can use sticky pistons, you can use cobweb. The cobweb one, the cobweb one actually requires a 1.34, which just means just add two in there. And, like, it will burn, but one won't do it and two is too much. So we gotta figure out, like, the equi equilibrium over there. And sticky pistons work too, as well as pistons. The grass works, and the fern will work. And it requires four for like these tiny ones. This one requires two dead bush that will understand. This one just doesn't require anything. The next one is we have all forms of wool. Any color of wool will work as well as the carpets. And we also have the flowers which actually require two each for the flowers. Which does make sense if you think about it. Like flowers are flammable if you make them dry enough. So what do we have? We have bookshelves of course that will, that will set your coal ablaze. We have a torch. Now, this torch is actually really, really smart. Like, it, I just like it. It's just really cool. Really, it's just a piece of wood set on fire to smelt something, but it just requires 1.5, so just get, like, two torches, and you'll be on your way. We also have chests and stairs and crafting tables and ladders and more rails and a lever. We have wooden pressure plates. We have redstone torches. We have a jukebox. We have a cactus. We have fences, trap doors. We have... Mushrooms, another mushroom, vines, fence gates, lily pads, dragon eggs even? I know. That is really, really cool. We have all the forms of slabs. We have the tripwire hooks. We have the spruce wood stairs. Any stairs actually work. Buttons, daylight sensors. I know these are some pretty expensive fuels, but they are activator rails, 
any form of wood. Like, apparently, I think it just flipped back. You can use hail. I mean, you can use hay, which is really, really does make sense because you know hay bales go on fire because they're really really dried grass and we have yeah carpets I told you carpets and we have block of coal of course we have sunflowers we have more fuel and double tall grass and large ferns rose bushes even more flowers fence gates I think fences I think it's just fueling back you can use an anvil you can use any uh, wood based recipe in the not enough in, in the NPCs custom NPCs mod which actually was used to burn the chairs so anything from that mod you can use any wood based item actually will be useful so as you can see all the wood based items from that mod but if you don't have that mod you don't actually have to listen to this so like as you can see the rest of it is just all wood based you can use arrows and you can use tools as well wood tools you can use hay you can use leather you can use paintings signs doors lava buckets of course, lava buckets are already there. Saddles, boats, uh, books, paper, sugar canes, leather, um, beds. They have maps as well. Maps. That. Why would you want to burn your map? We have all forms of seeds as well. We have rotten flesh. We have a really weird one, which is a blaze rod. I don't know why you'd use your blaze rod to use fuel, but you know, it's not me who's doing it. It's you. So we also have gas tears. All these rare ingredients and we have all spawn eggs which I don't know how you would get in survival mode but that is actually a cool way to do it so all these spawn eggs actually work we have fire charges we have book and quills written books we have item frames poisonous potatoes we have empty maps as well carrot on a stick why not firework yeah stuff a firework in your oven yeah that will light it for sure we have nether stars which oh yeah you know kill the wither just put the nether star and just destroy everything yeah that's actually cool too we have firework stars again yeah put gunpowder in yeah put put any explosive in your oven it will work try it now i don't care we have each enchanted book we also have rabbit's foot armor stands flags banners uh, what else do we have we also have all the forms of doors we have all the forms of bridge oh no that's actually a mod so the rest of these are actual mods so anyways guys it's already night and i have explained each fuel that this mod actually uses so if you want to go back in and i will actually not list it but if you actually forget what fuel to use you can reference yourself back to this video or hopefully the creator can actually make a list for you because there is a lot of items so you don't actually run out of fuel for desperate times like you know nether stars can be used that's actually really cool one. but the cool one so far is the torches anyways guys I really hope you did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to leave a like down below as it does support the channel quite a lot and also if you are a first time viewer on one of my videos I do encourage you to subscribe to the sort of face channel to see more content such as this and other games maybe anyway thanks for watching and my horses and i and all these guards and everybody we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching again <laughs>